I'm Trita Wafel coming to you from the lab of the EcoCar EV Challenge team here in the WVU Statler College of Engineering and Mineral Resources. It's an exciting place to be with young people who will be leading the electric vehicle revolution that we're all witnessing. I'm sorry I can't be with you today to celebrate this important milestone bringing EVs to the public transit system. I'm the Interim Director of the National Alternative Fuels Training Consortium. We're a program of the WVU Energy Institute. The NAFTC includes community and technical colleges across the country dedicated to educating students and the public about cleaner transportation, such as electric vehicles. WVU and the consortium are all about working in partnerships like the Rural Reimagined Project. Our goal is to build an EV ecosystem for Appalachia. It takes all of us to band together to demonstrate how EVs can be available for all citizens and how EVs can have a positive impact on our local economies. It's a big partnership. The West Virginia partners include us, the State of West Virginia Clean Cities Program in the Department of Economic Development, the Fairmont Marion County Transit Authority, and is led by Tennessee Tech across five Appalachian states. The support is coming from the U.S. Department of Energy Vehicle Technologies Office, and project guidance is being provided by the National Energy Technology Lab, or NETL, which is located right here in West Virginia. NAFTC's role is to help train the auto technicians that will be needed to maintain EVs. We have another partner, the Tennessee College of Applied Technology, who is focusing on the manufacturing workforce. Together, we plan to roll out training to community and technical colleges throughout Central Appalachia. See, our job is to build the workforce that manufacturers and public transit authorities and frankly everyone will be able to rely upon. A workforce that people like FMCTA General Manager George Levitsky can rely upon. George is a visionary. He probably wouldn't say that, but I admire him for being the first rural tr uh, public transit authorities nationwide, really among the first, and the very first in West Virginia to add electric vehicles to their fleet. About a hundred years ago, Fairmont and Clarksburg operated the biggest electric transit system in the state. It was called the Monongahela West Penn Line. George is paying homage to that legacy with a photo of the Mon Penn streetcar on this new EV van. Those electric vehicles were tethered to electric lines and ran on rails. But today, you'll see this FMCTA EV on actual rural roads, paved and some unpaved, I hazard to guess, here in Marion County. I'm so proud to be part of this partnership and so hopeful that it will have benefits for our communities. I want to thank the West Virginia Clean Cities Coalition and our Tennessee Tech colleague, Dr. Ping and Chen, for inviting us to join this wonderful project. I look forward to seeing Marion County citizens enjoying the fruits of this project, a clean, quiet electric vehicle in their public transit systems. So let's celebrate. <laughs>